Hello, and welcome to this episode of Inside Tech. Today we have quite a few things to go through. We have a new phone from Motorola, which looks just a little bit like a phone we've seen in the past. We have the Zune HD can now play Game Boy games, which is awesome. And we also have a locked down release date for Project Natal for the Xbox 360. So we're going to go over all this and more. Anyway, let's get this one started. Okay, let's begin with Motorola's newest phone, the Flip Out. Now, to be honest, I'm not so sure about this one. Um, now, it's a pretty unique form factor. I've seen on one phone before, but we'll get to that in a second. It's a pretty unique form factor, whereas it's a square, and it, and it flips out to reveal a pretty large keyboard that's behind it. Um, now, if you guys know, we've already seen this form factor in the Nokia Twist, or otherwise known as the 7705. Um, but this one looks like it's going to take it up a notch, whereas that one was closer to a feature phone, this is closer to, you know, a full smartphone. Um, so the specs are, it's going to be running Android 2.1 with Moto Blur. It's going to have a 2.8 inch display, of course a full keyboard with a 700 megahertz processor and 256 megabytes of RAM. Um, now guys, I'm not so sure about this one. Uh, the square form factor is kind of a little bit odd to me, and especially because it pretty much looks like an exact clone of the Nokia. But we'll just have to wait and see what it looks like. Now we've got some good news, especially if you like gaming. Microsoft has just announced that Project Natal for the Xbox 360, um, the full motion control where you can actually, you know, instead of using a controller, you can actually, like, you know, touch stuff and everything. Well, that is going to be coming out October of this year. Um, now the exact date's not out yet. They're going. They said that they will announce that at E3 this year. But personally, I'm excited. It will be coming out this year, um, and I think Natal's pretty promising. I, I like it a lot, so this is some pretty good news. Now, some good news if you own a Zoom HD. A Game Boy emulator has been ported over called Visual Boy Zoom, which is just a port from the normal Visual Boy Advance. Um, now, guys, this is really early. Um, saves aren't really working right now, um, and a lot of stuff isn't 100% up to spec. Especially the fact that it does not play Game Boy Advance games right now. That's going to take a whole lot more work to get it all set up. Um, but you can download it right now. I'll have the link in the description. So you might want to go to check it out if you have a Zoom HD. If you follow tablets, then you might want to take a look at this newest entry. It is the MSI Slate Book. And it's a Windows 7 Slate. <laughs> um, there's not a whole lot special about it. It is a 10-inch Atom tablet running Windows 7. Um, you know, I'm not really too excited about this, to be honest. It, we have already seen this in the HP Slate, and it looks like that might have gotten canceled. Um, so, I'm not really sure about the future of Windows 7 and tablets. I mean, I've said this a million times before, and I'll say it again. Windows 7 is still primarily made for using your keyboard and your mouse. Of course, it, there you, can, you, know, you can use touch somewhat. They've improved it some, but I don't know, guys. I used to think that Windows 7 would be awesome for a tablet. But, eh, I don't know, the more I think about it, and you know, I see all these that are getting cancelled, I don't know. And that's it for this episode of Inside Tech. I'd like to thank you for watching. If you like, feel free to subscribe. I do Inside Tech videos all the time, as well as all kinds of iPhone application reviews, um, tech, just general tech news, and all kinds of reviews. Anyway guys, thanks for watching.